Hello, everybody. Let's proceed to the third group of presentations. Well, the first paper has been published in Sex Roles Journal, but it doesn't uh, talk about the famous 50 shades. I'm sorry, we'll have to wait until uh, Friday. Uh, Dr. Mila Sainz from uh, Gentic Group will present gender stereotypes and attitudes towards information and communication technology professionals in a sample of Spanish secondary students. Thank you, Josep, and thank you, everybody, for being here. And um, I also would like to thank uh, my uh, co-authors, Julio Meneses, uh, Beatriz Lopez, and uh, Sergi Fabregas, for having um, uh, published this uh, work with me. And um, uh, the rationale of the paper that uh, we have uh, recently published is um, related to the um, uh, low representation of women in ICT, in ICT professions, such as computer science and engineering com uh, telecommunications. And um, uh, as far as we know, uh, adolescents um, make um, certain decisions um, when uh, they are in secondary education that are very much based on the stereotypes that they have about the different occupations that they could um, uh, choose in the future uh, and uh, the um, inaccurate information that they have conditions these choices. So um, also we know that uh, from the literature that uh, adolescents uh, choose occupations that are reflective of their own personality and that um, coincide with their self-image. So um, we, we also know that uh, gender differences emerge when students have to choose the different, different itineraries and different choices during secondary school. For example, uh, when they uh, go for um, technological bachillerato or bachillerat or uh, humanities bachillerat. So the, um, according to the um, theory of social roles, uh, the um, distribution um, the, uh, of the um, labor, the um, different um, roles that are assigned to men and women um, condition the uh, different um, aspirations that they have and of course the expectations that adolescents have and uh, when, when they have to choose the different um, possibilities, future possibilities they have. And uh, some of these uh, choices are very much conditioned and very much influenced by this, uh, st the stereotypical portrayals they have about who um, develop certain, who, what type of people develop uh, certain jobs and what type of characteristics they may have uh, in order to uh, to do the, the, the jobs, uh, to properly uh, uh, perform the jobs. So um, according to the multi-component uh, theory of gender stereotypes, if we look at, for example, the typical portrayal of a computer scientist, an IT professional, people um, uh, normally refer to uh, the um, the person, the professional, physical uh, features, um, such as, for example, uh, the, the the glasses the the the, the person wears, the, the way the person um, uh, the clothes the, the person uh, wears, and the outfit they have, or uh, the out, the outlook, the look the the they have. So the the. They also refer to certain uh, personality characteristics such as the, their intelligence or their intellectual uh, aptitudes, such as, for example, the, um, uh, how uh, intelligent computer scientists are and how brilliant they, they are. And also uh, related to these uh, personality traits, people uh, and students um, uh, refer to the um, um, social skills that uh, these professionals may have. 
So, such as for example, it's very typical that a lot of um, uh, that a lot of, of research show uh, that um, many uh, young people think that um, uh, computer scientists lack of uh, social skills. So, these portrayals um, obviously influence the uh, choices that uh, girls and boys make. And mostly, as uh, normally, the, uh, this portrayal of the uh, stereotypical person doing IT is uh, related, is congruent with uh, male gender roles, uh, normally discourage uh, girls to, um, uh, to choose this uh, career or this profession because it doesn't fit with their, uh, their own self-image, okay? So, um, these characteristics of the, I mean, the characteristics that I have mentioned uh, about the different people uh, holding a particular profession could have a negative or a positive appraisal by the different uh, people that think about them. And also, uh, if we look at, if we use the, um, the, the use of language that, uh, that people make when they refer to, uh, uh, to the uh, different um, characteristics that the person, the typical person has, uh, they, um, the use of the language they tell, um, tells us uh, that the, uh, given that, the, for example, the Spanish and Catalan language have grammatical gender, that the, the characteristics um, are more, uh, these characteristics that uh, try to, de to define the, the person, the typical person uh, doing I, I, ICT um, um, are normally um, based on masculine traits. So, um, taking this into account, uh, we run uh, content analysis of uh, the um, an open-ended question of the responses to an open-ended question. Uh, what type of person comes to mind when you think about someone working in ICT? And uh, 900 students, secondary students, uh, at the uh, end of fourth of ESO, uh, responded, and we trained two, co two independent coders in order to identify in the students' responses the presence of us absence of different characteristics that uh, were um, extracted from the literary um, uh, review. So. Uh, also, they had to identify whether these characteristics involve negative, positive, or neutral appraisals, and whether these characteristics have, uh, were um, masculine, uh, feminine, or neutral. So, uh, regarding the results, most of the characteristics associated with the typical person uh, doing I I ICT were related to role models, to particular people who were mostly men, and also then uh, to um, the um, uh, people, uh, the person, intellectual um, aptitudes, uh, and also in third place, uh, they refer to uh, the uh, several professions that uh, produce and design um, ICT, such as uh, computer science or uh, telecommunications engineering. Then they also, mostly girls in this case, they, uh, all, they refer to uh, professions that use ICT as a tool for the developing their, or for performing their job. And uh, finally, they also refer to um, certain aspects related to uh, the professional social skills and the, uh, the professional uh, social um, position, such as, for example, saying that the uh, ICT professional uh, earned a lot of money or, or have very uh, expensive cars. So, um, contrary to our expectations, all these characteristics associated with uh, the different uh, professionals were um, mostly uh, positively evaluated more than, uh, as we expected, uh, uh, negatively evaluated. So mostly, uh, um, uh, there were differences in, um, in gender differences in, in the sense that boys were more likely than girls to evaluate negatively ICT professionals' physical appearance. This is very interesting. 
And um, in line with expectations, both girls and boys regard the, the different characteristics associated with ICT professionals as neutral and masculine rather than as feminine. There were very few feminine uh, references to uh, the different um, perceptions that um, uh, students have when thinking about ICT professionals. So the um, implications of this research are uh, a lot, and we can just uh, briefly mention that, uh, well, if um, this research shows um, something that has happened very frequently is the, about the historic, historical production and reproduction of, of power and stat, uh, status in, in technological fields. In, in our context, as well as with feminine forms of ICT occupations. And uh, we, we should take into consideration that if um, most, um, if many um, decision making, uh, um, decision making related positions are um, uh, related to um, IT, IT technological uh, occupations and ICT studies, if women are not there, well, they will uh, continue having a, a secondary role in this field, and they won't participate in the decision-making process of uh, designing and producing as well ICT products. So, um, and also we have to try to um, uh, prevent that women are stigmatized and are um, somehow considered as lacking uh, technological skills. So, thank you very much, and I hope that you have enjoyed the presentation.